Jennifer says tracking the timing of the rain and when it's going to get out of here. Yeah, we're tracking a cold front and we knew these temperatures could not last uh, forever. And here's the deal. Here's the future cast 11 o'clock tonight. We're OK. Temperature still in the 60s, so uh, no rain and showers before midnight. But then we'll advance it and the clouds continue to roll in overnight. Temps, I mean, are still crazy. 62 in Dumfries and 61 in Wheaton and uh, Silver Spring. By 530, here comes some showers. Manassas to call pepper to orange with temperatures still low to mid 60s. That rolls across 8 o'clock in the morning if you're I-66 south or even out toward uh, Route 50 and south into Southern Maryland, you have light rain and showers. This is not going to be a huge deal, but that's why we issued a yellow weather alert. It's going to be a nuisance deal, if you will. And remember, it's homecoming for Maryland tomorrow. And by uh, 12 o'clock, we still see a lot of rain and showers across the southern viewing area, La Plata southward to Fredericksburg. And some models actually bring this up a little bit and then move it out. So that's why we issued a yellow weather alert. Again, if you're up in uh, Frederick, you'll probably be dry with mostly cloudy day. Leesburg dry, mostly cloudy day. But Manassas, D.C., Annapolis, even Rockville and South, some light rain and showers on the way. French television is reporting there is the distinct sound of an explosion heard on the black box recovered from the Russian airliner that crashed in Egypt last Saturday. Russian President Vladimir Putin has suspended all flights between Russia and Egypt until his investigators can pin down the cause of that crash. There are no direct commercial flights to the United States from that resort town in Egypt. Still, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security is putting enhanced security measures in place at international airports. The fear that some luggage cargo uh, could slip through and affect a U.S. carrier or a, a, an aircraft headed toward the U.S. is very real. The White House says the extra security measures are being taken out of an abundance of caution and not in response to any specific threat. Tonight on the campaign trail, GOP frontrunner Ben Carson is admitting.